Unanimous consent to address the House for five minutes. Without objection. Mr. Speaker, I come to the House floor because today is the birthday of my friend, our partner in the fight for justice and equality, Nelson Mandela. During the height of the Civil Rights Movement and the early days of the labor movement, you had to make a decision, which side are you on? So Mr. Speaker, on this day, of all days, I cannot, I will not stay silent when our nation, our democracy, and the American people are under attack. We fought too hard and too long to stand on the sidelines when so much is at stake. When you see something that is not right, that is not just, you have to find a way to get in the way. You have to get in good trouble, necessary trouble. Now is the time to wake up. It is time to be brave, bold, and courageous. During the American Revolution, people suffered and died for the dream of democracy, for the sacred right to vote, and for the ability to choose their representatives. Hundreds and thousands of men and women lost their lives to preserve our union and to defend our values. When I saw on Monday, and what I saw was a shame, an embarrassment, and a disgrace to their legacy, their memory, and what they sacrificed. During times like these, I encourage every person to take some time and have what I call an executive session with themselves and their very souls. Because today, Mr. Speaker, each of us faces the question of what it means to be patriotic. Ask yourself, do you stand with the American people or do you stand with a dictator? Do you stand with democracy or do you stand with a czar? Do you stand with friends and allies or do you stand with someone who approves violent attacks on the media? human rights advocates, and struggling democracies. Mr. Speaker, the American House is on fire. It is burning. And if we are not mindful, if we are not mindful, if we are not watchful, this fire will consume us all. The United States Constitution began with the words, we the people, you see the founding fathers very first priority, the very, very first article was to outline the role and the responsibility of the United States Congress in our system of checks and balances. The people who elected us are signing the alarm. Never before has our Constitution mandate been more important. Never before have the pillars of our democracy been under attack. Mr. Speaker, each and every one of us swore an oath of office, whether Democrat or Republican, we all have an equal mission, an obligation, a mandate to uphold this promise. Mr. Speaker, the time has come, and the question is simple. Will you show up for duty? Congress must speak up. We must speak out. And Mr. Speaker, we must act. If you fail to do so, history and the American voters will not be kind. The threat is occurring in real time on your watch. And the ball is in your court. The clock is ticking. And there's no time to waste. Mr. Speaker, I yield back. The gentleman yields back. The chair recognizes the gentleman from...